Shannon. I want to talk for a second about the life care planning model and how it can work for your family. And I am more and more convinced that elder law attorneys are going to become life care planning attorneys because it's just a beautiful way to help um, seniors who are in a health care crisis, which happens before we die, um, to, to really stay on track and have the best possible quality of life while they're aging and, um, and really going through the sunsetting of life. Um, not only does life care planning model, the life care planning model help the, um, the client, but it also helps the client's caregiver, usually the spouse and their family, because what happens when we have a chronic illness that's serious like ALS or dementia or Parkinson's or any number of other um, congestive heart failure, things that happen as we, as we get towards the end of life, it can really take us by storm. <laughs> Um, we don't know, you know, who are the best doctors to treat this illness, what are the best places if somebody falls and breaks a hip, if they have dementia, what are the best memory care units. And then, you know, with healthcare advocacy, it just becomes so important, like you want the best healthcare. You want to know that you are getting the best possible treatment and that you're in a place that's safe and where, you know, you're not going to get scammed or exploited or that they're not taking proper care of our person. The life care planning model um, for elder law attorneys really does that. And I am like a recent adoptee of the program. Um, I kind of looked at it for a few years and then I moved into it um, a couple of years ago. And it has been really life changing for me and for my clients because they used to just come to me when things came up. So we did their estate planning, we did their guardianship, we did their exploitation recovery because they got exploited. Like all these things um, that over the years I've realized like what I really needed to do was to just stay with them, to just have them stay nearby. Um, and I don't really like sending bills. <laughs> As many, many of you think that lawyers love to send that bill, we don't really like it. Um, so this is a model where basically you pay one fee and you stay with that attorney all year. Um, so like for me in Florida, um, I charge one fee and we do all their estate planning. We do long-term care planning. We look at long-term care insurance. We also look at Medicaid. Um, we look at asset protection for maybe that community spouse that stays at home. Um, or, you know, can we keep everybody at home? Is there a way for us to age in place by using things like smart technology, um, and other resources in the community that you may or may not even think about to stay home? Um, because we know that's where people really want to be. The other thing about the life care planning model that is unique is that we have an elder care coordinator on staff. And that's usually a case manager, a social worker, someone who's been an administrator at a, a long-term care facility or assisted living facility. And they have experience working with geriatric issues. Sometimes we also use a nurse in that role. But what that person does is they actually are the boots on the ground and they address things that they're qualified to address. Sometimes we lawyers think we're social workers. We are not. So actually social workers do a much better job of assessing social work issues than attorneys do. So we leave experts to do what experts should be doing and we lawyers are the backup. So yeah, I really love the life care planning model. Uh, <clears throat> there's probably a life care planning attorney in your state the Life Care Planning Law Firm Association is a place to look to see if there's one nearby. <coughs> it's lcpfla, uh, LFA dot org, and I'll put that in the chat. Um, and yeah, I, I really am I'm thinking that this is the future of aging gracefully. And um, I'd, I'd love for you guys to ask questions and maybe look into it a little deeper. Life Care Planning, it's the future of elder law. Okay, I wanna say one more thing. Um, and that is that we are actually putting on a webinar on life care planning, what is it? Now, granted, it's gonna be pretty state specific to Florida, but if you wanna join um, that webinar, it is, you know, we have plenty of room at this point. And um, I will also put how the link, I think I, think I can put the link 
um, how to, at least you can come to our webpage and get the link there. And it just gives some more information about what, what is life care planning. Okay.